All right, everybody. Um, welcome back. I know um, things didn't go so well with my Kanto um, Nuzlocke challenge, but we're going to do another one here in Johto. I'm going to try to make things a little bit different. Things are in multicolor now. We got all kinds of new Pokemon, and we got a new Nuzlocke challenge to try and stick forward with. I am still going to try and um, upload both streams at the same time. You know, like I was talking about, I will be doing or upload both recordings at the same time, like I was talking about. I will be doing this one with, um, you know, the, um, uh, this one with the Nuzlocke rules, and the other one kind of just playing it as I feel to play it. Um, you know, I will probably still be obtaining, like, most Nuzlocke rules, basically, with that one as I'm with this one, but, um, you know, this is gonna be, this is gonna be fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun to get into, and, um, we're gonna be a whole nother gaming experience here. So let me just make sure that I have all my things working here. And all right, so this one is going to, we might have a little bit of clicks in the background because I'm going to have to be using my uh, keyboard for this one, but I'll try to minimize all of that and, um, you know, as much as I can. What time is it? It is really late. I don't want to admit how late I'm playing this game, but um, yeah, 11 o'clock, basically. A few minutes off, but you know, it's as close as we're going to get. Uh, <laughs> I'm really not going to wait till exactly 11 o'clock. It's like, you know, literally three seconds, but uh, not three seconds, but minutes. Um, but yes, 11.58, no, 10.58, sorry. I'm uh, an hour ahead. Whatever. It's fine. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures that we call Pokemon. Wow. <laughs> um, so I don't really um, have a lot of plans for this one like I wanted to do with the, uh, the Kanto one. I'm just kind of going to get into this game and... Um, have more fun with it, you know, try to make things a little bit more jokey and just uh, really, really see what we can do um, in the Johto region. The story is a little bit more um, immediate, you know, than um, in the Kanto version. I think, like, um, technically in my other game, I'm still basically um, starting, you know, even though I just finished uh, Misty's Gym. But um, with this one, we kind of just get right into it, which is kind of cool. I, I do enjoy that. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll have fun doing both streams, um, but doing both recordings, uh, if anybody <laughs> ends up watching these anyway, um, it'll be great. You know, you'll have a lot, you'll have a lot to see. There's going to be a lot of, a lot of, um, a lot of content immediately, um, right off the, right off the bat, which will be good, I guess. Let's see. Are there still items in my, uh, uh, not in this generation? There's so much more stuff in this one that I've um, kind of forgotten about already. Like, I know there's, like, the radio and all kinds of other things um, that we're supposed to be looking out for. All right, Professor Elm was looking for me. He said he wanted you to do something for him. Oh, I almost forgot. Your Pokemon. Your Poke Gear is back from the repair shop. Here you go. Help you receive Poke Gear. That's what it was, the Poke Gear. It literally has everything. It was the, you know, Pokedex of the future before that was a thing. It's essential if you want to be a good trainer. See, we all need some Poke gear in our lives. The new, the new Apple Watch, or whatever. <laughs> what day is today? Today is Friday, technically eleven, almost midnight. Wait, is it daylight savings time? I don't really care about adjusting. I'm gonna be an hour ahead. It's fine. Whatever. Um, no, mom, I don't know how to use the phone. I forgot. Uh, turn the Poke Gear on, select the phone icon. Phone numbers are stored in memory. Just choose a name that you want to call. Gee, isn't that convenient? Uh, it actually pretty is. You know, it's a lot, lot, lot like cell phones today. Alright, let's go see what Professor Elm, right? He's the, he's the dude. Oh, dude, look at him. What's this guy doing? Oh, he's up to no good. So this is the famous Elm's Pokemon Lab. What are you staring at? The fuck out of here, kid. All right, <laughs> and I don't. Oh, I keep hitting the shift button by accident, um, because it's right above my goddamn arrow key. 
Um, I'm not really going to worry about changing. I might change the controls later on, but it's not that important. Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding blah, blah, blah. Interesting stuff. Story, story, story. Anyway, <laughs> I just got an email from him saying that this time it's real. <coughs> Isn't this intriguing? Or it, it is intriguing, but we're busy with our Pokemon research. Could you look into this for us? I'll give you a Pokemon for a partner. They're all rare Pokemon that we just found. Go on, pick one. All right, thanks, dude. Let's see here. Um, which one's Cyndaquil? I know that that's the one I already want. Or should I get Totodile? I do love little fucking Totodile. Um, your partner is important. First of all, just really quickly, because I should have done this at the beginning, I'm changing the speed. Um, and let's go. That's good enough. Um, it's either going to be uh, Totodile or I wish I had a coin. I could legit just flip a coin for it because uh, it's either Totodile or Cyndaquil. Um, um, I'm going to go with fucking, let's go with Cyndaquil. You know what, I went with Bulbasaur in my in my Kanto uh, Let's Play. I'll go with the Firestarter Cyndaquil in this one. And when I eventually get to Hoenn, um, I'll do the Grass Starter for Hoenn. Just Trico, that's not bad. Trico to get to Salamance, that's that's a pretty good um, Nug starter. Um, I have to name my Cyndaquil because I'm doing the Nuzlocke challenge for this one. Um, I'm going to just name him uh, Cinder. But like the cool way. <laughs> All right, I have to go to Cherry Grove, the next city. There's almost a direct route there. If your boat one is hurt, you should heal it with this machine. Oh, and here's my phone number. Call me if something comes up. Hope you got Elm's phone number. Are you sure this wasn't a whole ploy just to um? get this child your your phone number mr grown man um you're counting on me eh? all right well just because you're counting on me i'll do this the right way but i want you to have this for your errand i got a potion dope that will cook you i'm sorry i just feel like i really need to sneeze and i just don't want to do it so i'm trying to like block it off um let's go that dude is still just standing there with creep Let's go to Cherry Grove. It's just the next city over. And first first thing, this is why the tall grass is dangerous. First step in the tall grass. And I'm already screwed over. Um, so this counts as the first Pokemon for this for this road. So I won't be able to get any more Pokemon um, along the first route here. That's good. I want my I want my Cyndaquil to beef up. He was, um, he's a little boy. He's a little boy. He needs to get strong. Alright, um, these people keep lowering my attack, and it's not going to do me any good in the long run. Alright, man, just fucking keep going at it, I guess, even with your lowered attack. <coughs> Excuse me, let's just hope for the best. Oh man, just one more. One more, and he's he's fucking Dunzo. All right, come on, come on. All right. Oh, I forgot they did that in this one. So that's kind of cool. I'll actually be able to track the progress of uh, my Pokemon. They started inputting the uh, little XP bar at the bottom of the thing, so um, that's gonna be super helpful. I really like to see the. The progress I'm making. Um, so yeah, I've really just decided for this one to stick to the two main um, rules that I was talking about earlier. Only uh, if I don't catch the first Pokemon, then I can't catch any Pokemon. And if a Pokemon faints, then it's then it's dead. That's it. Um, just because uh, all those other constraints that I stuck by last time really ended the game quickly, and um, I ended up just you know playing the game anyway. Um, so I don't really want to do that with this one. I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I love 
this game and I will still continue to play it no matter what. Um, but, you know, it's the kind, of the same, kind of the same basic concept with um, the other one. I, I, I don't want to get locked down in so many rules. Uh, I kind of just want to play the game. And I already forgot. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a straight shot, so I just need to go to the left and keep going. But I already forgot um, how to get to Cherry Grove. This is another game where I, I, I know that I haven't fully played this one in a long time. So that's going to be a lot of uh, fun to get through. So I'm already low on health. Uh, oh yes, I do have the potion. Wait, what was that? I had a berry already? What? I didn't know they did that. Okay. Maybe to show off the new mechanic. Nice. Good way, good way to sneak that in. I had no idea he was holding a berry. Hopefully he picked it up along the way somewhere, so we might get more. But I learned smokescreen. Mm -mm -mm. Oh man, that would have been the perfect time to like hit. <laughs> oh, there's a Pokeball there. So that's a step in the right direction. All right, hoot hoot. What a hoot. Hoots for dudes. Look at that, look at that eye makeup. That's the, that's the mark of a predator. His eyes are right there in the front of his face. They're meant for killing. See? <laughs> All right, come on. Have they really lowered my health that much? <laughs> or not my health, but my, uh, my duck. <coughs> my attack because oh god I promise I'm gonna do something with the clicking I'll find a way um, in the later episodes to deal with it maybe I will um, find something else to connect with to use um, you know to play as or to play with maybe I'll just find a different keyboard as well but I feel like that might get a little annoying so I am sorry about that <coughs> as well as my coughing. I was not coughing this much the last episode. Okay, another potion. So we're we're steadily on the way. Um Let's make it to the city so I can figure out whatever I need to do uh to progress the story. Is this one unlike the unlike the red and blue games, I do not remember everything about this story. I remember having a lot of fun with it. I remember having to travel through both regions. I remember the 16 badges, but I don't remember the fine details. Um, I just know that it's like, you know, a more intense, a more well-developed story than um, red or blue. And come on, I gotta get you, I gotta get you to learn Ember soon, bro. Oh no, all right, come on, yes. Oh, he has he has just like a sliver of health left, and so do you. So you cannot miss this. Oh, thank God. Okay, um, cutting it close there, cutting it way too close for comfort. So let me now heal, pack, potion, use. All right, just enough, nineteen, and let's continue our journey on to Cherry Grove City. That's new, right? I think that's this place. Hey, dude. Where, where am I headed? You can't climb ledges, but you can jump down from them to get to take a shortcut. Okay. Um, it's not what I asked you. Uh, mountain road ahead. Okay, I don't think that's where I need to go. I told me it was a straight shot to Cherry Grove City. Um, sir, can you help me? So I s to record my progress. Okay, that's not helpful. Um, looking for a, a city over here, somewhere. Another hoot hoot. Give a hoot, don't pollute. <laughs> All right. Um, see, that's another thing that I'm worried about is running out of, uh, running out of attacks because it's just taking me so long to get there. Alrighty then, so let's see. 
I am good. <laughs> okay, we are good. No matter what, we're still good. I just want to get to the city, uh, figure out what we need to do to finish this uh, first round, and start getting the real game going underway. You know, get on, get on the way, start fighting some of the gyms that are around here. Do you just go straight? Have to, right? Route 29, Cherry Grove to New Bark Town. Exactly. See? So this has to be. Uh, I'm a rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell. It's okay. Everyone's a rookie at some point. Uh, if you'd like, I can teach you a few things. Nah, I'm, I'm good. Fine. Come see me when you like. I'm cool, dog. I don't, I don't need your help. I know how to play the game. Um, so Cherry Grove. That was it, right? Or I guess I'm still going there so I could see the professor. I don't know. I'm just I'm just trying to follow the map, and go to wherever they tell me. Um, thank God. Had the the little bit of hesitation there had me worried. But all right, cool. Get rid of this guy. Oh my God, the the second attack was not anywhere near as powerful as the first one. Um, I'm almost out of hit points. Uh, let's just see what's around here. If there's more grass, then I will stop uh, and go back and heal at the Pokemon Center. Um, so let's see here. Route 30, Violet City, Cherry Grove. It should be where the dude is at, right? Is this not the dude? Okay, no, he's not the dude. This berry, it's just a berry. I thought there were different types of berries. Alright, well there definitely is more grass, so let me at least go back and get some um, health back here. I don't really need the mart, but I could definitely use Pokemon Center. It's so nice, it's so colorful and so like nice and updated <laughs> for like the time, the 2000 times. You remember fucking 2000? Jesus. Uh, what was I? That was like fucking six years old and doing absolutely nothing playing Pokemon. <laughs> Alright, get through here. Get through the grass. Literally doing the same thing that I was doing like in 14 years ago. Still doing it now. Um, Why is this dude so fucking remote and so far off? Like, is this how you study Pokemon? No wonder they don't believe you. And they say like, oh, you have to come see this new thing that I found. Like, motherfucker, you're some hermit out in the woods. No wonder if you're not a scientist. <laughs> um, or at least trusted by scientists. Alright. Uh, my attack's gonna keep falling. Um, until I just take you out. See, that's not, that's not helpful. That was kind of helpful. Um... All right, guys. Uh, Hoot Hoot is just like the only enemy I've been encountering so far. Um, I feel like that means that around this whole area, I'm not gonna be able to catch anybody. Um, once I start my my full on training, my 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 undergoing of training. <laughs> um, but where is this dude? This has to be him, right? This has to be the dude. Okay, Mister Pokemon. I want that title, Mr. Pokemon. Professor Elm said that you would visit. This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. The mystery egg. Oh, is it Togepi? Just like, you know, like, the, like in the anime? <laughs> I know a couple who run a Pokemon daycare service. They gave me that egg. I was intrigued, so I sent mail to Professor Elm. Some Pokemon evolution, Professor Elm, is a theory. I read that all wrong. Even Professor Oak here recognizes that. If yeah, my assumption is correct, Professor Elm will know it. Oak, what you doing over here? Aha, so you're a puppy. I'm Oak, a Pokemon researcher. I was just visiting my old friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon? Let's see. Hmm, I see. I understand why Professor Elm gave you a Pokemon for this errand. To researchers like Professor Elm and I, Pokemon are our friends. Hydrate or hydrate. Ah, uh, you seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? 
See, this is the latest version of Pokédex. It automatically records data on Pokémon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Wow, this sounds strangely familiar. Go meet many kinds of Pokémon and complete the Pokédex. But I've stayed too long. I have to get my gold. I have to get to Goldenrod for my usual radio show. Puppy, I'm counting on you. Man. Uh, well, how many things do you do, Professor Oak? You, like, research Pokemon, you run a fucking radio show, you, um, get sent kids on horrifyingly character developmental, um, adventures, and, damn, bro, you, like, rocking out in your old age. Alright, well, uh, ooh, I got a call from Professor Elm, that's pretty fucking dope. Uh, hello, puppy. Uh, it's, um, it's terrible. What should I do? Oh, I, oh, oh God, oh, jeez. Oh, oh, God, Rick. Alright, let's see what happened. People are fucking just dying, apparently, or something around here. Rattata! Oh, he looks so cute. So much better in this sprite than the ugly-ass red and blue sprite. Um... Let me move that out of the way. And, of course, my attack missed. Um, what else can I do? Alright, Rattata, you're going down. He's lowering my defense, and I don't like that. Uh, he gets one good hit on me, and he takes in just as much as health as I've uh, taken out of this guy. Alright, um... Last one? Yes, okay. Cool. Oh! I got my I got my level eight. What do I learn? Do I learn anything? No? Okay, good. Well not good, but fine, at least I'm level eight now. And let's hurry back to Professor Elm. Um because apparently shit's just going down. And nobody was prepared for it. Uh <laughs> so we gotta make sure that we can do that. And, um, I guess I'll add in my, my cynical sprite, um, I've had to take a few, just quick pauses, so I'll make, I'll take another quick one when I go grab a water to, uh, add in the sprite. I always hate how these attacks miss at the beginning. It's tackle, bro. How do you, how do you miss a tackle? Well, I mean... I, I shouldn't be talking, I shouldn't be talking shit. Oh, water. My boy can't go in water. Oh, wait, look at that. Boom, jumped over it. Fucking hurdles. Send me to the Olympics, the ones that got canceled. We represent out here. Oh, who's this guy? It's the one that, uh, you got a Pokemon at the lab. What a waste, a wimp like you. Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. Bro, I've just been traveling, doing Pokemon stuff this whole time. I don't even know you. Your name is Question Marks. And you come at me with a Totodile. Like, I get that it's already, like, my advantage, you know, or his advantage. But, like, I'm stronger. I got, I got three levels on you. We've been out here in the streets. Lear looks like you just shot me with laser beams. Um, I wish I had laser beam eyes. That would be so dope. Just <laughs> fuck people up like that. Be a huge hazard on the freeway. Just look at somebody in the laser eyes. <laughs> oh, yo, he can't beat me. Come on, I'm, I'm a higher level than you are. We're supposed to. We're supposed to have gone through this bond and trained together. Okay, cool. He got this. Oh, look at that. Level 9. Just someone. Someone was defeated. Are you happy you won? I'm, I'm pretty, you know, excited. Glad that I don't um, have to run out of my Pokemon already. <laughs> Your name is just question marks? 
Like, did you say that? My name is Question Marks. And I will be the world's greatest trainer. So can I just know I don't know how to cut yet? But I know how to jump. I just kind of let gravity do its, uh, do its thing, you know? Like, right here. On a higher area. Just let gravity whoop, take me over. Kaboom. This is a lot of walking to get through just to get to one, uh, one little, uh, spot or whatever I have to do. Oh man, I swear, I, I don't know, I don't know what those drugs are. Um, he told me to go get these mushrooms in the forest. And, um, oh wait, you're looking for a dude with red hair? Uh, yeah, I battled that guy, never mind. Um, he said his name was, um, 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 yeah. No problem, officer. You you go investigate that case. What happened here, Professor Elm? Help me, this is terrible. Oh, yes. What was Mr. Big, what was, what was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? Here you go. He found this fucking egg, bro. This? But it's a, a Pokemon egg. If it is, it's a great discovery. What? Professor Oak gave you a Pokedex? Puppy, is this true? That, that's incredible. He is superb at seeing the potential of people as trainers. He saw this one kid named fucking Red who just like pissed off his son all the time, or his grandson all the time. And he was like, you know what, kid? There's potential in you to be a huge asshole. And I'm going to make you do what I'm making my grandson do. Because I'm the professor. I'm the smartest motherfucker in the city. Um, before you leave, make sure you talk to your mom. Ah! <laughs> um, puppy, use these on your Pokédex. Oh, dope. You gave me some Pokéballs. See, he's always got my back. He told me how to get to where I was going. Give me a potion. Give me some Pokéballs. Fucking Emil, you're the, you're the man. Um, this is where I came from, right? That's my home. All right, let's see here. All right, so let's go uh, talk to our mom. Um, where is she at? Oh. Um, I'm not going to say the obvious joke here, uh, but we all, we all know uh, what, that, what that one was. Um, do you want me to save some of your money? You know what? Yes. Yes, I do. I want you to take a little bit of all the money that I earn beating up children and their uh pokemon and i want you to save that save it and see what happens so can i just like start my journey now like do i just fuck off and go on to um see what all is about all right yeah i guess i do um so let me take a look at the poke gear real quick try to figure out my uh i, I guess i'll stop and see what this dude I've seen you a couple times. How many Pokemon have you caught? Would you like me to show you how to catch Pokemon? Nah, I'm okay. Oh, fine then. Anyway, if you have to catch Pokemon, you have to walk a lot. Oh, okay. Um, that's what I was planning on doing. Uh, all right, Poke Gear. I don't have a town map like from a Poke Gear. All right, well, we are just gonna head back off into Nowheresville and <laughs> figure it out. So, I am probably going to cut it after this battle. I want to, um, you know, keep progressing my way through um, both games, but um, I'll be uploading both of them simultaneously, like I said. I'll start doing um, one, you know, one episode of each per day. Um, so, uh, at least tomorrow, Saturday, we'll be looking forward to a new video. And um, for both of this one and for Pokemon Red. So I'll put that up there. Um, and then Sunday we'll get two more videos. One for Pokemon Red, one for Pokemon Silver. And um, we'll see how things go. We'll see how things go with both games. I'm still abiding to the strict Nuzlocke rules for this one. Um, I might not be doing so much Nuzlocke rules uh, for the other one since I already lost. But like I said, we'll see how things go. And um, 